Welcome to this video on creating dependent drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. So, this one sounds a little complex, but it isn't really. It's nice and simple, and some, some really great examples of when you might need to use this. So, I've got a list there on my screen of all of the countries in the United Kingdom and then the cities where my offices are based. And sometimes I just need to fill that information into Excel. And rather than having to type them in, I want to be able to select them from a drop down. But I don't want to scroll all the way down each city to each city in one list. I want to be able to select the country and then select the city from a drop down list. So this is my example. Obviously, there are loads of other examples, but I wanted to give you one to start off with and to make it super, super simple, like I do on the rest of the videos on this channel. So let's get started. We're going to use data validation and we're going to use a function called XLOOKUP. So we're going to do the country first. We want to create a drop down list to select England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland. So in my country cell there, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to the data tab. And when I go to the data tab, I want the data tools and I want data validation. Great thing about Excel is even if you can't see the name, if you hover over the option, it will tell you exactly what it is. And I want data validation. And I get this nice little pop-up box. What it's currently showing is validation criteria and it says any value. I'm going to change that to say list because I want a drop down list. And then I just need to tell Excel where to pull that drop down list from. So in my source section, if I click on it, all I'm going to do is go back to my Excel. So you may need to move that pop up box around. But as soon as you click on your Excel, it will drop it out of the way. It will hide it for you. So I'm just going to select England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. And when I release my mouse, it pops back up. And I'm going to click on OK. It's that simple. And I've now got a drop down list of all of the four options there. And I can select any one that I want to, I'm going to go for Scotland. So nice and simple. I did that with data and data validation and list. This one's a little bit more complex. I'm going to use the X lookup for this one because I want it to then give me a list of the cities where my offices are in that country. Now I need to do this within data validation, but I do want to show you the function outside of it, just so you can see exactly how it works, because I'll have to type it in manually when I go into data validation. So it's a great way of just getting yourself super comfortable and useful. So I'm going to click on the city cell and I'm going to, because it's a function, I'm going to do an equal sign and X lookup. And just like any other function there, it's going to pop up and you can double click. Now, it's asking me for a number of different things. Some of them, if you look at the pop up box that's appeared, some of them in the brackets are not mandatory. You don't have to. They're optional. There are three things I need to put in. Now, the three things are the lookup value. So where are we looking up? We're looking up in the country section, the, the country cell there. So it's going B4, and then every time I'm going to split up a part of my function, remember, I'm going to use a comma. So I'm going to comma that. And now I need to tell the system where to look up Scotland. So this is where I'm going to select my England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. So I've told it what I want it to look for and where I want it to look for that. I'm going to do a comma, and then finally, I need to tell it what data set to bring back. So I want to select that area and don't worry about the blanks. I'm going to select that area there. And then I'm going to close my brackets and press enter. And you can see it's giving me back Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dundee, Aberdeen, which is under the Scotland one. If I change this to England, it will bring back that information. But that's not really helpful. It's not giving me it in a drop down list. But what I wanted to do is show you that outside so you could see how it was built up the normal way that you would create a function. So when we go into data validation, it will be even more simple. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Just delete that out. And I'm going to go into data. So I'm still on the cell that I want that information to appear in. I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go into data tools and data validation again. 
and I'm going to allow a list. And in the source section, this is where I'm going to start typing out. So just be really, really careful because you can absolutely type this wrong. I've done it wrong a few times before and it's given me an error. If you get an error, just check that you've typed out the function name correctly because I've got a habit of doing that wrong. So equals x lookup. Let me make sure that is fully accurate because I don't get any pop-ups. So I'm doing this manually, which is why I showed you it beforehand. And then I'm going to open my brackets. So now I want to say I want to do the exact same function, but in here. So now I'm going to select the cell I want it to look up. And I'm going to select that one. But just notice when it appears, I've got the I've got the dollar signs on there, which is going to lock it in place. And I don't want that to do that because I'm going to drag this function down, this data validation down, and it's going to do it for multiple cells. So actually, I just want this to say B4. If I leave the dollar sounds like it's always going to look at B4, even if I've moved down to the next row, which is not accurate. So I'm just going to type in B4 for this example, and then I'm going to comma. And then I want to say, I want to tell the system, remember, where to find this information. So where should it find England? Because I've switched it to England now. So I can just select on those. And these have dollar signs in them. That is absolutely fine because that's not going to change. This is where my data lookup area is. I'm going to comma and then I'm going to finally put in my list. So my city list. And again, it doesn't matter about the dollar signs because that's going to stay where it is. And then I'm just going to put a close brackets. So I've done an X lookup. I've told it where to look for the, what data to look for. So that's the cell directly to the left. I've told the system where that information is. And then I've told the system finally what to pull back when it's found that information. So if I click on OK, and I've done this accurately, I won't get an error message. And it's now created a drop down list for me. So remember, I selected England on the country, and then my city is now showing me those options. If I go back to my country and select Scotland, then I'm going to get a drop down of the Scottish cities there. So I can select where my office is on this list. And obviously, just like anything else, if you want to then pull that down, you're just going to hover over the bottom right of that cell and pull that down, and it'll take the data validation with it. Just remember to remove any data, just backspace out of that, remove that out, and then you can drag it down. So you're dragging down a blank cell, and then you can go in any of these and select what you want, and the cities will pop up for your your country selection. So you've done that. You've now got dependent drop down lists, which will be a super useful tool if you're going to have to put a lot of information in. You want to reduce those scroll lists, but you want to keep consistency of the data within your Excel so that you can do functions and formulas on that without having to clean it up. So really one to have a go, have a play around with, think about the at times when it might work for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.